Hey guys, Delo 304 here, and I am back yet again. I just got done recording this video about this thing, and before that, that one, and before that, that one. So, yeah, we're going to just keep going around in a circle. So, next up on the list of videos to make is the Macintosh SE from 1987. Now, how the hell did I get this? I got this for free, actually. I got this uh, at a dump, of all places. We went to the dump, and I looked over... There was a bunch of, like, random broken crap. It was, like, printers and boxes and crap. It was it was right next to the giant trash pile, so it was about to get thrown in there. It was on its side, and there was drops of water on the side of it. So, uh, yeah, it didn't look very good, but nonetheless, I took it. I took it home, and the damn thing turned on like nothing ever happened. It has a 20... No, it has a 200 megabyte hard disk, so it has been upgraded. Uh, it has a, a 700k floppy disk drive. It has, a, I think it's a f Motorola 6800, 68000, or maybe it's an Intel. I freaking forget. I don't. Sorry, guys, but I think it's at like four, four or eight megahertz, probably eight megahertz. And it has, I believe, two megs of RAM, maybe four. I'm not entirely sure. I think it has four megs of RAM. I'm not really sure. I can't remember now. We'll go into the software and we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, so that's the really entirely basic specs. This was your average, very expensive computer <laughs> that, you know, it's an Apple, so, you know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this wasn't the original 84, you know, iconic original Macintosh, but this is the SE, which stands for second edition. Or maybe, no, SE stands for sick system expansion. Sorry. For, for so I've had arguments about this before with people. They're like, oh, SE stands for second edition, and it's like, no, it does not. It stands for system expansion. See so yeah, how we have our CRT monitor right there? It's actually very bright and still very crisp. Um, kind of like sharp. It's still sharp, so it's in good shape. Uh, the plastic is definitely yellowed. I know you can't really tell, but the plastic is definitely yellowed on this model. Um, so, yeah. I have a... Uh, Apple, well, I got this on eBay, I got these both on eBay because I forget what they freaking call it, but it's a uh, Apple, Apple System Bus or something, I forget, it's a very weird proprietary thing from Apple, so you have to buy a keyboard and mouse. Uh, surprisingly, this keyboard is brand spanking new, it's never been used, I bought it on eBay for like 20 bucks, I think, it's vintage, so this is a vintage keyboard that's never been used. So, yeah, it's like brand new. Then I had this old Apple uh, one-button mouse there. So, Apple desktop bus, yeah, ADB. So that's that. I have That's the only thing that's plugged into this thing, so, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and power her up. Hope you guys heard the little beep. It wasn't very loud. Coming to life. You can turn the brightness down. Oops. How about like that? Welcome to Macintosh. The screen isn't really blue like that. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's complete. It's just gray. Like, it's a, it's a monochrome, like, grayscale screen. Yeah, I don't know why it does this, but, uh, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't really care. The computer still works. So, yeah, this thing boots up faster than, like, a new computer, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but, uh, yeah, so bam, there we are, uh, so let me, I think I can go ahead, I don't even, like, I, I'm such a noob at, like, okay, wait, yeah, it's really hard to use a mouse over here in this cluster of wires, so please excuse my stupidness. Yeah, I hate this. I already hate this. Um, I'm sorry. Get info. There we go. Um, so it's 53. Well, yeah, there it is. It's a LC200 SCSI hard disk. So it's a 200 megabyte um, hard disk there. So let's see. Uh, about about the grouch. Oh yeah. <laughs> one of the one of the last person who ordered or who had this computer had this thing in the trash can so like when you put something away it's like it's like the garage from like Sesame Street it's 
kind of funny. Oh wait, I. Okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, drag a file you don't need into the trash and select empty trash. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know who owned this computer before, but they had some interesting ideas. Uh, I know that. Uh, this computer was given to like somebody who needed a computer, like, like a relative or something, like an old person, because there are there are documents on here, just like basic documents that are like Comic Sans font in like, ugh, come on, mouse, what the hell? Why? Wait, wait. Okay, I I'm getting fed up. But anyway, um, about this Macintosh, that's what I was looking for. So yeah, it's running System Solvers or Apple System Seven, I guess you should call it. Yeah, it's got four megabytes of RAM, and yeah, so that's that. Macintosh SE. So yeah, I'm surprised that this thing still works flawlessly after 25 years. Um, I haven't opened it up. I have not uh, explored inside this computer, but I assume it's working fine, and I'm not going to use it a lot just to keep it working and preserved. Yeah, I'm opening Microsoft Word, like the freaking old version of word but uh... yeah so i can type hey and there you go so uh... yeah and then you can click quit boom there you go uh... no don't shave changes yeah so this video ain't gonna be that long either well we're already at almost seven minutes so i can't really say anything anymore um, yeah so i'll go ahead and shut her down i guess we can go around the ports on the back because i have with uh, other computers that I've done videos on in this series, so I guess I have to do that. And bam, that wasn't that the fastest shutdown in the freaking world? Then turn that display brightness up. And boom, there you go. And that's that. Uh, so yeah, if I can freaking, I can flip this thing around. If I can flip this thing around. Mm, okay, hold on. I can do this. Hold on. That was very loud, but yes, I'm going to go ahead and show you this because this is video worthy. Uh, so those were the original specs. It's obviously been upgraded. Uh, it has four megs of RAM now instead of one, and it has a tw 200 megabyte hard disk instead of a two megabyte hard disk. So whoever owned this computer before and knew what they were doing. Uh, so yeah, we have a locking port right there, and then we have two the two of the ADB ports. I believe we have uh, one is one of those is for parallel and the other one's uh, like for an Apple thing. I forget what that icon is for, but it's for like a external floppy or something, or like a hard drive. Uh, and then we have two more ports right there for various things. And we have audio out right there. Then we have the power switch and the input. So yeah, so that's about it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to move it anymore. I have to do it with uh, both hands. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But that is the 1987 Macintosh SE. Thanks for watching.